on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's time for some news, man. Let's take five, five, five. Today, we still don't have an update to the testing list. However, 13 mods were released. It's the last week for the Farming Simulator 22 sell on the Giants website. Plus, we got 13 modders to talk about, including some big maps. Ooh. Let's check it out. I would normally start the video with an update to the testing list. However, we've not gotten an update to that since last Wednesday. There could be an update released later after this video, so you can check out the mod testing list, which is the first link in the description. Check that out, and I will update you as well once it is updated. This is also where I would say, in addition to the mods and testing, but regardless, we still have 13 new mods released on Mod Up today, including some Homer mods. I've already made a video showing off everything that was released today. You can check out that video if you haven't already. Farming Simulator 22 is still on sale on Giant's website, which as far as I can remember, has never happened before. If you guys are on PC or Mac and you've been wanting to get Farming Simulator 22, check out the links below beside Buy Farm Sim 22 on sale and Buy Farm Sim 22 year one season pass on sale there you'll be able to find the game year one bundle and year one season pass all on sale for between 20 and 25 percent off through this thursday if you want to get it get it quick because we never know if giants are going to do a sale like this again you also never know when they're going to do a contest either so if you've been wanting to get entered into the vineyard contest make sure you guys get your entries in soon because that's going to be ending on thursday this week as well we'll link that below if you guys would like to get caught up with all the latest information jumping into today's top stories from modders let's start with sid modding and his twin screw xbr2 which is now complete and is sent off for testing for all platforms it's got a new grain tank on it as well as tons more we got six track configs three grain tank figs 19 numbers including no number at all an oversized sign cb radio with a moving cord green star four different engine configs or two pipe options two tank colors and lights it's also alleged to have the first moving tarps behind the chopper as well as the first moving cord on the cb radio inside the cab and to make the news even more sweet he sent it over to take a first look at that video will be out either tomorrow or wednesday so stay tuned for that in the meantime he started work on the sts 50 and 60 and 60 and 70 series combine harvesters from john deere and yes they're for all platforms next up the last addition to the telix 3500 has been made a k-branded feeding mix because of course it is and as of right now the development cycle for the 3500 is done at least for the single cab which means number one single cab's done two we may be getting a quad cab Yee -hee -hee. as we mentioned yesterday in the weekly roundup the telix 3500 is meant to be the one truck to rule them all and i would say it's going to be exactly that you catch highlights from 82 studios live stream link below where you worked on the mod yesterday and added a few other goodies jhhg modding has released their 2012 john deere 17 2016 stack fold planter oh yeah for pc and mac players with the mod hub version being sent out for testing for consoles official in-game mod hub we did see this mod in Farming Simulator 19. It's one of the more great mods to add to your collection. The no-till configuration planter is a 12.2 meter working width and nine miles per hour. Comes with the options for lift assist wheels, closing wheels, wing weight, supports, Goodyear deep tread, different fertilizer options for dry, liquid, and herbicide, and different seed box extensions, just, literally just to name a few of the things. PC players can grab this mod right now via the link below, and console players can stay updated with the latest progress here on Farm Sim News as the mod goes through the testing phase. Similarly, LR Modding has released their John Deere N542C air drill for PC players as well, and also sent it off for testing for Mod Hub for all platforms. It does have CCS with different working widths and spacings. It's going to have a 13 meter working width with 4,200 liter tank capacity, requiring around 300 horsepower, and pricing starts at 291 grand. You also have the option to add numbers and lights and it features realistic implement values folding sounds particles and hoses download link of course can be found below just like 1720 from jhhg and also just like that console players can stay updated with progress here on farms of news as this mod goes through the testing phase as well here's one that isn't out yet as it's just started the process the k-branded vb2190 this was a very popular round baler in previous games and i'm sure many players will be happy to see this one returning oh yeah adub's also working on some older machinery like the massey ferguson sd2 plow which was actually part of the old gen massey pack 
This pack or this plow along with others is part of his initiative to bring in older equipment for players to use on classic farms and roleplay series. How about some new picks from Black Eyes Official Modding on what looks to be their new map issue farm, which we know is coming back to farms and for all platforms. The pictures here showcase what I believe to be their grape processing area, turning grapes into grape juice on the map. This map in Farming Simulator 19 was actually the first map to ever implement grapes on the consoles, and little did we know how huge that would be in Farm Sim 22. This might just be the best map for having vineyards once it's released. There was another map, Map Italia, which would have been great as well, but those modders have distances, distanced themselves from mod up, and as far as I know, will not be working with giants anymore from what I've been told. So. Is she a farm it is? JA Modding and FS Modding have been working hard on their John Deere 5080E, and we thought that maybe they were done with the model. We talked about that over the weekend, but they found some stuff over the weekend, a few things that they thought could be improved more and make the detail of the mod better. So they went back to the modeling phase for a few adjustments, and that's still where they are right now. It may take a little bit more time than we thought it was going to to get this out, but nothing too crazy. Mod is still for all platforms. BC Bueller Farms shows off their grain bins in game for their next pack to be released after the Mac Grain Transport Pack releases, the Meridian Bins. So far, they have five sizes of hopper bins and 19 different sizes of flat bottom bins. That way, there's something out there for every farm. This is way more than we, we originally thought was going to be with this after the first post a few days ago. The more, the merrier. So bring it on. There's also a chart over on his Facebook page and you can see all the sizes and capacities of each model. We'll have that link below. Possibly the most prolific modder of Dutch style buildings, Dutch Mining Inc. has released some screenshots of another shed that they're working on and they ask the community who recognizes this shed. And honestly, I can't find it anywhere. I don't think they released this in Farm Sim 19, and I can't find it in before then. But then again, a lot of their buildings do have the same design. So I tried to focus in on maybe the white stripe above the doors, but I got nothing. Do you guys recognize this? Drop down in the comments and let us know what it is if you know. Speaking of buildings, Pixel Farm is back with us today for the first time in a few weeks, saying that he's created a new farmhouse for Home Acra. Additionally for that map, he's changed the terrain a little bit to make sure that you guys can get machinery up the hills without getting stuck. They're also going to be working to finish the touches on the trees, which are now over 20 different custom trees in various species for the map. Additionally, they've also created a fully functional and immersive sawmill production chain where you would deliver your wood to the Hall Micro Sawmill, and then you get to choose between different products. These are going to need to be dried and then packaged in order to be sold. So practice up on your wheel loader skills to moving around these big old pallets. There are still a few buildings left to be done in the sawmill area, and then they need to play test the map and of course get back into some more detailing work in the forest. The idea is to release some of the assets like the sawmill, the house, buildings, things like that as a placeable pack on the mod hub. That way you guys can use them easier, not only on this map, but others as well. And of course the tree pack will also be released as a separate asset to use on other maps. Getting close. Speaking of logging, FDR Logging says that there's a mod update coming this Friday on April the 8th for PC players, which is going to add some fixes and changes, as well as two additional new mods, including the Pro Pack Pull Through Dilemma, and also we've got a new revised tree grinder, which is a recalibrated version of the M Game Mulcher that we already have that allows for better grinding of trees and bits for easier cleanup of your logging areas. This update will likely be out after Farm Sim News drops on Friday as they normally drop them a little bit later than I do this video, but I will remind you of it on Friday so that you don't forget. FSG's working on a new map, Green Mountain. This looks to be another logging map and will be 4X in size. Progress has just started as far as I can tell, but from these screenshots, they've been working on this one for a little while longer than they're letting on. Because of the size, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get this on consoles or not once it's completed, but like we said last week, we do know that larger maps do work on the new gen consoles, we just need to get them on the mod hub. And lastly today, let's talk about the release of DJ Modding's, not me, Green Valley, Nebraska, new map that he released on Friday. Quite a few of you guys have reported that your game stopped loading around 65% or so. After looking at the log files, DJ Modding found out that the issue happens when players have an NVIDIA GTX 1060 graphics card or something lower than that. Could also be AMD as well. One solution that he presented was for players to choose DirectX 11 instead of DirectX 12. So you go to your game XML or game.xml and change DX12 to DX11. I actually had to do this on my gaming laptop that's got a 1660 Ti in it and farms in 22 because it did not run good. A2 Studio actually helped me with that, so big shout out to him. You'll also need to drop your settings down if you're playing on a higher setting, because if you're using a 1060 or less, 
especially on a laptop or anything like that, and you're trying to run anything over medium settings at 1080p, you're just asking for a bad time. DJ Modding has posted how you can do it yourself at home, and it is super easy to do. Unlike coming up with different self-aware segues to the outro that not only know that they're self-aware segues, but actually work as self-aware segues, I might make it look easy, but really, I'm just looking at the Let's Play video from this morning, just like you are. Elm Creek episode number 30, carding with a TLX 2020. Check it out. There should have been a card at the top right-hand corner of the screen by now. Oh, it's gone? Okay, well, let's just move on then. Just like every upset of Farm Sim News, links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description. There's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod's going to be released. And if it didn't talk about something that you want to know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information. That way you never miss anything that you want to know about or need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you do. Join the Gohan fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily Farming Simulator 22 videos here on the channel or Farm Sim videos in general. I think I messed that up. Oh, well. Hope you guys have a great day. <laughs> we'll see you later. I'm so pumped that Carolina is in the national championship tonight, but I really don't want to stay up until 920 and watch it. Ugh.